It's the season of giving, and tomorrow is Give to the Max Day. Thousands of nonprofits need your help reaching their goals so they can keep helping our community. Kirsten Mitchell visited one to show you how your generosity can make a big difference. This warehouse may look full, but it won't be in a matter of hours. Every day we're preparing every afternoon for 20 households. To get to 100 households a week, it is constantly moving. Bridging is a furniture bank, allowing people to come with nothing and leave with everything they need to furnish their new home. We are partnered up with over 250 agencies from the very formal county assistance programs to the shelters, homeless, domestic abuse, veteran services, immigrants and refugees. But supply issues, inflation and the end of pandemic relief programs leaves them in a constant battle to keep up with demand. This should be filled underneath. Our second level should be all the way filled. Bridging is in desperate need of mattresses right now. They'll take all sizes and it doesn't have to be a set. So if you have a spare box spring or a spare mattress, just bring it over and they'll take it. This looks like a handmade beautiful uh, quilt. Karen Moran started volunteering at Bridging 10 years ago with her mom. Make sure there's no holes or stains. She's also a Delta flight attendant. Last year, she was on a flight that brought 200 Afghan refugees from Germany to the United States. We had some Afghan refugees come through bridging so I've seen the whole full circle and it was amazing I was just the day I saw those folks coming through I was just like wow I'm so glad they got here so they could start a new chapter with hope and with dignity in Bloomington Kirsten Mitchell WCCO 4 News bridging takes donations six days a week at its Bloomington and Roseville locations no appointment needed they're also hosting a blanket drive on December 17th.